Word up, you money. Here we are playing this uh, song in F minor. Hey, just F minor, right? F minor. Just show yourself that real quick to be like, okay, there's F minor, and there's F minor. Just like you might be like, here's E minor, which is the same shape, and here's E minor. So we're just one fret above E minor. Left hand overview, we're going to be doing this thing where we, as you may recall, because you'll probably practice pretty soon, going back and forth between the, and I'm calling that F sharp minor over a flat, or B flat rather, because the bass note, oh, you know, I'm sorry, that should, that should say uh, F sharp minor over C, it's just, but it doesn't affect what we're doing. Um, anyway. And then we go from that to our first finger, where we're doing shit, and that's like an E flat chord, E flat major, like sixth fret and eighth fret. And then we go to C sharp, which is two frets back, and it goes back to the first chord. So the song goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight
degree, but something tells me that's going to get you. All set. So otherwise, you want to memorize these chord names because, as discussed, just like F, there's no good way to play it in first position. Same for F sharp. You know, this is F up here too, and E flat and C sharp. So just pretend that, like, you know, C sharp makes sense, E flat makes sense, but you want to not turn it into a deductive reasoning problem. Our brain can go, oh shit, C sharp, that's two words. That's just like saying, you know, this is Bob, this is, you know, like, Jim Bob. It's the same thing. You're all good. I know you get it. Just working with subconscious shit. Anyway, I'll see you soon, man. It's all good. Try to be aware of what chord you're playing over during the, uh, the intro.